It's definitely sunny today. Woohoo! Hey, so we're back at it. We're out here in Lake Barrington continuing to work on this project. Now we're setting our stepping stones. So we got the first one set. Then we're just going to kind of come across however we want to zigzag it from here over to there. Constantly thinking about how the next step is going to be. Do you like the visual? <laughs> build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So it is a little after lunchtime on day three out on this pond. We got a little bit of work done. We got that rock set yesterday and then we got our rock wall set over there. We got our jet line in so that you can see that two inch trunk line sent back behind that rock over there. We got that in as well. We got this area dug out right in front of me. And the good thing about working with our liner and fabric is that we could pull back this liner and fabric and dig out areas where we want rock instead of being fixed to a certain width and a certain depth like how there normally is preformed ponds or if you were to do or a concrete or something like that. If you use concrete we want to be able to we're actually working here that is true big shout out to kevin and rob again subscribe to their youtube channel they have been great unfortunately today is their last day out with us it's kind of sad they can't see this thing up and running but we will make sure that we can tag you in this one you guys can see it and i'll send you guys some videos so don't worry about that all good things come to an end. Yeah, unfortunately. But as I was saying, it's always nice having our fabric and liner so we can pull back this liner and we can dig back instead of working with concrete where we'd be fixed and we couldn't move anything and we'd have to be set to a certain size. So it's always nice having the flexibility in play and especially with having so much extra liner like we normally like to do. Brian always gives us a little bit more liner. I have the flexibility with that. So we're going to continue on. We're going to try to get all this rocked in the day and hopefully we're going to start digging out our deep stream area, which is going to be sitting right here. So that's going to be look looking really cool. We're going to have a bunch of steppers going across that patio over here and going to the pathway that I'm currently standing on. So stay tuned and we'll keep you guys updated. Day three, we weren't able to quite get to where we wanted to be today, but that's all in the art of the game. We were able to set this rock here, this big one right here, it took quite a bit of time. Just kind of cobbling in everything kind of took us some time, but it's turned out awesome. We cannot wait till we get this thing done. We're just kind of working our way out of here. We got our jets in, so we just gotta finish up this wall on Monday when we come back, and then we can hopefully start digging this out so we can do our steppers. Plan of attack is to kind of finish the pond on Monday, and then it sounds like we might be doing the patio, which is gonna be awesome just to kind of tie everything in. We could kind of have some finished shots of this thing. We got some of our lights in as well, and we got some gravel down at the bottom. So on Monday, we can come back and we could run out of gravel, unfortunately. So when we go back to the shop, we're gonna grab some more gravel and some more materials. So then on Monday, we can hit the ground running on this project once we get out here Monday. So for you guys, like I said earlier, it's only a couple seconds. For us, we gotta wait two days until we get out here. So hopefully you guys have a good weekend and we will see you on Monday. It's definitely sunny today. Woohoo! <laughs> Hey, so we're back at it. We're out here in Lake Barrington, continuing to work on this project. The Fuentes brothers had to leave us. Great crew, but we've got another great crew over here. I'll introduce you guys a little bit later. It's those three guys working behind me, working their butts off. But today, it's kind of hump day. Try to get a lot of this buttoned up today. So tomorrow, all we're doing is some cleanup work. A couple little patio restoration type things in here. You can see where we've got this all dug out in here. Couldn't dig that out earlier because it killed all of our access to do burn 
farm work and other things over in here. But now we've got this laid out. We've got this dug right in here at about 16 inches deep, which is two inches above the height of our stepping stones, putting our stepping stones two inches above water level. So we have 18 inch deep stepping stones. So we're gonna bring those stepping stones right across from here over into there. Guys back over in here, Marty and his crew are working on getting that biofalls dug. Unfortunately, because of the branches of this tree, I just can't get this machine back in there to dig those biofall holes. I could, but I would lose this big limb and I would lose another limb up in there. And I really love the way that limb kind of comes out over the pond, giving it this like, pond more of this look like it's been here forever. So we've got this area dug out. Fish are gonna be able to swim all the way back up in through here, come across those stepping stones, and then a very modest waterfall. The waterfall is only gonna be like 15, 16 inches above water level. Didn't want to get anything too high because it was gonna look out of scale with the space. We've actually got two biofalls. So this one's gonna set about 15, 16 inches high. And then we added the second biofalls because they increased the size of the pond so much. One biofalls wasn't gonna be enough for filtration and the cost of a wetland was gonna put us way, way past the budget. So two biofalls will adequately filter this pond and we'll be good. The second biofalls we're gonna put over here and we're gonna drop it down even lower. Hopefully giving the illusion that we have one big wide waterfall kind of coming through there. So hold on tight, we'll show you how all that's gonna pan out and uh, we'll see how far we get today. Those guys, that guy, and that guy. And the guy behind the camera. And of course the guy behind the camera. We'll see how far we get. Wish us luck, here we go. We finished, we got our frame rock to frame out the rest of this wall. Then we're gonna have a patio piece that comes out over the top of this. Now we're setting our stepping stones. So we got the first one set. Then we're just gonna kind of come across however we wanna zigzag it from here over to there. Constantly thinking about how the next step is gonna be. Do you like the visual? <laughs> All right, so we'll get these set. We'll come back, kind of show you what we've got left. And then I think our biggest obstacle of the day is gonna be the limited amount of stone we have, which is why we still have tomorrow. So we'll come back tomorrow, finish up all the other little odds and ends and see what kind of magic we can make today with the limited stone that we have out here. Wish us luck again. Bye. Steppers are going in. We got our first three set. We trying to make our mind on if we want to set a fourth one or not. Odds are we probably are not. We're going to end up just tackling or buttoning all that up with some bigger pieces of granite that we're going to bring tomorrow. So you guys are going to have to wait till tomorrow to see all that finished up. But I'm going to take you over to our overflow. What we normally do is we'll go off the back of the skimmer off one of the bulkheads. We will just use a nine degree elbow and then we will hook up our overflow flow to that but considering that the skimmer is so close to the house it would just be a pain in the butt to run a two inch line and it would make it as bulkhead in the liner over here like we did here and sometimes we end up doing this so what i did is i came in here and i came in here with my transit right here the corner of this 90 degree elbow right here this is where water line is set to so anytime that we get an event of a rainstorm that the water is going to rise up in the pond and it's going to overflow through this fitting and out through the bulkhead and out to a two inch line that's going to feed all the way down over there and so that way no water gets inside the house or causes his foundation issues. So we normally just take a piece of our cover tape, pull down on the inside of the liner, and then cut our hole for our bulkhead. So we're gonna connect everything up and then we will be done with our overflow. And sometimes you have to do this, considering where the skimmer is at, it doesn't make sense to run a two inch line all the way from the skimmer all the way around. So I will show you guys what I'm talking about here. So what I was saying was that we usually go off the skimmer. So in this case, this bulkhead right here is gonna be for our three inch line feeding our biofalls. And this one is capped. Normally we would throw our 90 degree elbow and this would be where our overflow is at. But considering patio is right there, and the house is right there. It really didn't make a whole lot of sense. We're pretty much just gonna go right past where our bulkhead is at right now. So our bulkhead is right over there and it's gonna discharge somewhere over there, back behind in the woods. So little tip for you guys, you don't have to always use the overflow in the skimmer to actually put an overflow on the pond. Normally we just put a low edge, but in this case, we wanna for sure get rid of all the water that get pushed up against the house. And you can see how close we are to the house. So all these edges are super high and that's our edge that right. is gonna be our overflow. everybody we are back it is tuesday morning and jack you're back i'm back 
What do you think? You guys made a lot of progress. It's looking great. Yeah, when you, uh, when, <laughs> when you left, we didn't have anything in the pond. We didn't even have the fabric or liner, and we just had the bare bones hole dug. Yeah, you know, we talked about the wall and was getting all that dug. I love the way that turned out, especially the steppers coming across. For how small the features, it really does have a lot. Once again, the little intake bay for all the jets, and things gonna be pretty sweet. Two biofall, looking forward to see how these streams come together, so. Um, yeah, hopefully we get done by the end of the day. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're on the full swing of things right now. We got all of our edge work done up to here. Uh, we're just kind of working our way back behind everything. We're getting ready to set some rock in here. That way we can come in, do our avalanche slides like we normally do, and then get our biofall set and get our waterfalls done. So stay tuned and we will see what the day brings. As you guys can see we got our two frame rocks coming in jack's our little spillway right now yeah. we are gonna be adding our biofall faceplate just so we can get that all tucked away for that waterfall we got another biofalls coming in right to the right of this frame rock so we'll get two pretty nice looking streams or waterfalls coming right out of here which is perfect for those windows right there so let's get that finished up wasn't supposed to be there it's supposed to be over there we unfortunately hit the main irrigation pipe feeding the entire property so fortunately enough we were able to stop it before it caused a bigger mess we're probably looking at what would you say a couple probably like a foot of water inside yeah jack yeah yeah a foot of water stick your, uh, stick your boot in there get some water in your boot unfortunately we came across this and it's just one of the things that you're going to get while digging we knew that there was irrigation lines all throughout here but we didn't know what the main one was going to be that deep down so unfortunately we uh, made a little bit of a mess so it kind of put a damper on things for a little bit but it's no big deal we'll get the irrigation guys out here they'll be able to repair that pretty quick and we'll be on our way i just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up like we always say in all our videos you never know what you're going to find until you start digging so this project we've definitely came across a lot of surprises and we love surprises yeah jack love surprises so we will uh, continue on and i will give you guys a quick update uh besides that we actually have some of our waterfalls in right now so this is one of our frame rocks here's another one and then we're going to get another waterfall coming off that biofall spewing into that pooling area and then it's going to crash onto itself in this area right here so it looks really cool water line is halfway up on this rock so water line's just roughly like right there so really looking forward to how everything's turning out unfortunately we're not going to finish today that we're going to be back tomorrow to finish this thing so brian is dumping out his water out of his bucket and we are going to continue on digging 